years in order to achieve their goal of maximizing total revenue. It is a system that takes the historical data of an outlet in order to predict future business and support leaders in making strategic decisions. In other words, it tries to answer this basic question. How can a restaurant generate more sales in any given meal period? The first step to answering this question is to learn about four major KPI calculations in restaurant revenue management. These are Table Occupancy Rate Percentage, i.e. what percentage of your tables are utilized over a given period. Seat Occupancy Rate Percentage, i.e. what percentage of your seats are utilized over a given period. Average Spend Per Head, or ASPH, i.e. what is the average spend of each given guest over a given period. RevPash, Revenue Per Available Seat Hour i.e. what is the average revenue generated per available seat. These calculations can be applied to any restaurant or F&B outlet. They can be analyzed individually or in combination to one another to allow for data-based strategies to be created for any restaurant. Now, it is possible that from the moment a restaurant opens its door each day until they close to be completely fully booked. Guests could be queuing down the street with every item sold at a full price. There would be no waste in the operations and writing an efficient rota would be easy. For the majority of the restaurants, however, this is a dream. The reality is that systems are needed to help pricing the menu, create promotions to increase footfall at quieter periods, to forecast upcoming business, aid in ordering decisions, and to optimize the staffing levels. It is also necessary to make sure that during busy periods, the daily rush, for example, guest spending is maximized. Let us consider two scenarios for a restaurant in order to understand how strategies might be different for an establishment based on their data. Scenario one. Suppose that a restaurant is extremely popular and has a large number of guests lining up to wait for a table. Such a restaurant wouldn't want its valuable seats to be occupied by a customer who ordered a coffee two hours ago, but is still occupying the table. They also wouldn't want a single guest who was seated on a table which could actually hold four customers instead. A table would be more profitable if occupied by another customer type. For such a restaurant, it would be beneficial to set rules around the seating and reservations that would ensure no table is occupied in a suboptimal way. Scenario two. On the flip side, you may have a restaurant that actually welcomes customers that linger for a long period of time, but place low cost orders during their slower hours of operations. This would allow for empty tables to be filled without losing customers to other businesses. A single customer occupying a large table for an extended period of time guarantees some revenue as opposed to no revenue. Additionally, the guests could add atmosphere and a perception of fullness to a venue. It is well known that no one likes to eat in an empty restaurant. A restaurant facing low traffic could then instead focus on training waiters to cross-sell or upsell, build loyalty, inform a guest of upcoming events and promotions or menu launches in order to maximize the average spend per customer. Revenue management helps you identify which scenario your venue is facing at any point in time, and therefore, what kinds of customers and reservation strategies to adopt. So why then do we need revenue management? But quite simply, it allows the restaurant owner or manager to make informed business decisions and to create a future strategy for success that is rooted in the specific reality of that restaurant itself. 